everybody we're back with one more golden goblet for today there's two more to come but this is day six of seven i thought we did pretty okay on the last two but i won't know until everybody's video comes out saturday we are doing stunt tour on james motorcycle whoa two motorcycle i don't okay james motorcycle it's an i think you should leave reference but it was very forced you ready for this 15 minute timer already set i'll say please anyway just because it makes me feel good here we go it just began um so i can't use jane's motorcycle so i'm just gonna take some of my time to type in the discord hello i'm doing day six but i don't have the option to use jane's motorcycle so i'm gonna use the only one available zoe all right that's that's not unusual okay here we go don't forget that's not a good start don't forget to lean look at that that's beautiful right there that's a beautiful thing um oh wow that thing housed the saw okay just level with you i did not think that was gonna happen there i apologize watch out for these barrels you never know what evil they might contain Remember, it is not merely... Oh, no, dude. It is not merely a game of completing the stage as quickly as possible, at least not in Golden Goblet terms. It is a game of keeping your sanity while the music plays. She stuck the landing. I've never been more proud of myself. Just, okay, every time... That's not going to be... Oh, we lived. Anytime you touch an orange checkpoint, you should thank the good lord above. So, this might be considered slightly resinous. I've chosen to disavow my notions of being a non-resinous player of this game. And instead, we're just going to slide this bad boy <laughs> under the truck. <laughs> Didn't work like that. Stop shooting me. I can't be killed. Don't you cowards know that already? I guess we have to go through the maze of tractor trailers. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I don't think we can make it over like that. I think, I think we got to yeet it as quickly as possible. All right. Well, you know what? The, that's not great. The degree of difficulty is, is rising. No doubt about that. Okay, get it lined up as best as you possibly can. Anything is okay here as long as you land it. Come on. No, the spikes! If it weren't for the spikes, I would have landed in the in the goal. Now, for the love of God, I do not understand why my bike has a slight left uh, lean to it. I don't know if that's... That might just be a motorcycle thing, for all I know. Oh, come on. Um, the bike. The bike can do it. Well, that's fun. Um... That might just be a motorcycle thing, though, you know? Like, uh, sometimes vehicles, just like like planes, for example, like on... You're not going to believe this, but I did some reading when I was also playing X-Plane. Now, that was good stuff. Some planes, just like when they go to take off, they have a slight left lean to them. I have no idea uh, what physically causes that. But it is... Uh, it's a real thing, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe this does model physics one-to-one, -one, for all I know. Um, not a great start, I feel, on that one. Why is this? Like a lot of uh, Vancouver Canucks fans, Chelsea Dagger by the Fratellis is kind of like a, a, a song of anathema because it represents the Chicago Blackhawks who were our great rivals but I'm here to tell you I've also got even more uh, resentment for that song because my college ex-girlfriend was insanely into the Fratellis and listened to them all the time so there's I am not saying it's a bad song I got nothing against the Fratellis But that song is forever seared doubly into two parts of my brain. 
All I can think of is uh, Patrick Kane scoring incredible goals. No disrespect, you know. He's a great player. Um, ooh, we got a shave on that one. Um, and then old memories. Okay, try not driving right into the saw would be like my own preference here. Man, this is a bop. Is there is there an official soundtrack to Guts and Glory that perhaps I could purchase for myself? I was looking for something to bring ambiance, you know. Caden and I have an anniversary coming up in May. Probably gonna have to spend it in, in quarantine. So some nice music to put on the old hi-fi system would really go a long way. Towards making it a special evening. Now you gotta admit, that was good driving. Now here, this looks like a ramp to me. Okay, just a little ramp. That's good stuff. Now you want speed? You just wanted speed? And just, just hit, that looks good to me. No! That's foul. It's foul that you would allow that to happen. We're gonna do this this time though. Oh, no, 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 come back, come back. There we go. Another bop. Oh, that's not going anywhere, dude. Sorry, probably, if you have motion sickness or dizziness, I apologize. For that spin there, I was just uh, looking at the physics engine, seeing how it looked. Okay, all right, well, you never know, we are getting closer. All right, maybe not. I was hoping for the best. I don't think we need a miracle, but you know, I think I think we need to play a smart game. I'm tired of silvers. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be the one where we break that. I feel like we did all right on the first couple of levels. And the occasional physics-based dalliance doesn't change that. That was a great last-minute adjustment, or as they like to say, fan freaking tastic. There you go, rat slapper. What a name. You love to see it. Desert Speed. How fast can you finish? Get it? Do you understand? The joke? I understand. Even the plants become hazards. So here's the thing. We got a little dead Kennedys on in the background here. I, I do not think that the right way to approach this is by going quickly. I know we've been in the same position a lot. The first thing I would try to do is slow it way down and then just ride the wall the whole way. That appears to be a bad strategy. So we're gonna have to go full Battletoads level here. You got something going on. Always look at the next obstacle. The next obstacle. You line yourself up for one while preparing yourself for the one that comes next. Very Mario Maker-esque right here. It's getting a little hot. Like, I'm, I'm, Putting on the air of actually being angry, I'm not actually angry. It's a video game at the end of the day. And it's designed to be a little massacre. You know, I understand that part. But like, just just mildly frustrating. <laughs> you feel, like, why don't you take a lesson from Apollo? Okay, you get through a hard section of the level, which I'm now going very, very slow through and enjoying myself greatly, though it might seem a little boring. Um, and you, you you put a checkpoint after it, especially if you're going to put another boost, why not put another checkpoint? Doesn't make any sense to me, dude. Okay, so we might have to, once we get past this next part here, we might have to lean a little bit. Just driving this thing straight is a challenge in and of itself, but, you know, it's not that much of a challenge. When you just remember what a privilege it is to be outside. In and amongst the 
hustle and or the bustle of this workaday world. Feeling that vitamin D getting absorbed. Okay, you got a lot of time to get yourself moving here. If you want to wobble through the cacti, you may. I, I don't know what you do here. I guess you split the difference. Okay. Great work. This looks like a right side to me. Nailed it. Stay focused. Oh my god. Okay. I will never apologize for the way that we approached that level. <laughs> I think we were very, very lucky just to do okay there. Just to, just to finish that level is a dream. I think if we tried to do it at max speed, we would never get it finished. So, so to finish that, I don't know. I kind of feel like that one might be the, the crown jewel that keeps me in the run in here. Sir? You've almost ruined my best attempt. But I don't know. I, I'm dealing with some smart competition. I'm not even being sarcastic. You know, these are people who know what they're doing in video games. They might have come up with a strategy. We've all got a, a human brain capable of coming up with new and novel ideas. Goodbye, madam. That's visceral. All right. Um, I feel like I've seen ropes break in Unity games 40,000 times. <laughs> I know exactly what it looks like. That's like the gang beast ropes all over again. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. That's tough. I think we actually might want to make the turn as we land. Not like that, ideally. Remember, every checkpoint is is good progress. Every checkpoint is one step closer to getting that gold medal. And right now in Guts and Glory, remember, this wasn't my selection. Which is not to say like, oh, you know, oh, it, I don't deserve uh, any credit for it or whatever. You know, I'm, oh, uh, if I lose, I expect to lose. But really, all I'm saying is I'm keeping my expectations in check, you know? Like a king in chess. I'm like Canada at the Summer Olympics. If I get a couple of medals, diving, synchronized swimming, triathlon, I'm happy. Now, Canada at the Winter Olympics, a little bit more uh, high expectations, no doubt about that. This and, and we will be at the Winter Olympics again when I make another selection. I mean, golf with your friends, that was a Winter Olympics game for me. I know this is not necessarily the most common opinion. No, after all that. But I am a, uh, I'm a Winter Olympics guy, to be honest. I, I don't dislike the Summer Olympics. But I, I, like, I will watch anything in the Winter Olympics. Hockey, obviously. Figure skating, even. You know? I don't really know what to watch for, but I'm like, man, that's really impressive. Curling. Ski jumping. Summer Olympics is like... Like, I don't, I don't think I've watched the Summer Olympics since like 1996 when Donovan Bailey was crushing it. I got nothing against them. But for me, the Winter Olympics are just more interesting. Sliding sports. Of course, I'm a little biased. But consider as well that it, the Olympic that... The Olympic that you might the most, or you might like the most, might be a little biased as well, based on where your country does well. Like, I'm sure if you're from Norway, you're like, oh, I love the Winter Olympics. The 900 cross-country skiing events, which sometimes contain rifles and sometimes do not, really tickle my fancy. Yeah, it doesn't hurt that, you know, one athlete can win 400 gold medals as a result of that. Then again, that's how Michael Phelps plied his trade. It's a good point. 
You make a good point. What am I talking about? I don't know. But if I exclusively talk about riding this motorcycle while hearing this music, I am going to lose my mind. So allow me my self-care banter, please. That was an incredible exit on that one. Great performance. What an accomplishment. 1800th place is actually unbelievable. Any moment now. We're one second. <laughs> I'll take it though. I thought that was pretty good. I thought we did okay for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. Check out Dan and Mouse Perspectives. Go to goldengoblet.net and I'll see you next time. See ya!